Hi everybody, I am back with another video for you guys. And it's been a while since I've been on here, so I'm bringing y'all that hot fire today. Yes I am, yes I am. So, thank you to everybody that has been to my channel before. If you've never been here before, welcome. Stay a while. Anyway, today I will be doing a hair video and today I will be doing um this vegan temporary hair color gel so i will be on the road to achieving cobalt royal blue just for the weekend because i can't be running around with this mess in my hair okay i caught this color from gemini naturals they are a black owned hair brand they specialize in vegan temporary hair color and they have very very moisturizing primers and also sealants to also go hand in hand they have hair products and i decided to try out two colors and i conducted a survey on my instagram polls and it was either pinkberry or it would be cobalt and you guys voted for cobalt so today i will be using this so i decided i decided to buy just a mini color um just to see if i like it and if i do like it i am gonna buy more because the summer's coming and that means fun time but without further ado i would like to get on to this video under my head wrap i have my hair already um, washed from the previous night. So let me just show you guys. <laughs> I'm about to look like. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so I have these braids under here from when I conditioned and um, I washed my hair and deep conditioned my hair. And then I decided to just like stretch it overnight and just walk around with a head wrap on. So yes, I do look a little crazy, but your girl's about to style her hair and look bomb tomorrow. So, so what's up? Anyways, let's get on to the video. I'm going to start by um, sectioning my hair, applying product, and then applying the blue color. So, let's go. Alright. So, what I'm doing here is beginning the process of moistening and moisturizing my hair before actually applying the hair paint wax. The Gemini's Naturals website actually has their own leave-in primer and oil sealant, but I did not purchase that, so I will be using my own. And I decided to use Curls Dynasty and a little bit of the Melanin Hair Care Butter to seal off my hair. Also detangling my hair and just gonna do my regular twist out process that you have seen on my channel before. So I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna show you different parts. So I am back and I'm ready for some action as you can see. Um, I got this little cape on here. The little barbershop cape that you get when you cut your hair and all that. But I got it on backwards because just in case um, I get some staining on my back. My hair is kind of longer in the back as opposed to the front. So I did something with this, okay? And I got my gloves in case of staining on my nails. I don't need that. I will be doing my nails after this. And I will just be reapplying a little bit water to my um, hair before applying the gel. And I think I'm going to do a twist and curl. I haven't done that like ever <laughs> so I'm just doing it all today I'm just doing it all I'm just doing it all I think I'm ready I'm opening it to show you guys the texture and it smells a little bit like blueberries not too much but just a little bit and it's kind of more watery than I thought it would be I thought it would be like a jelly like texture but I'm just gonna take a few little pieces of my hair and see how it looks and Oh my gosh, look. Nah, seriously though, it really is getting on my hair. Like, I really didn't think it would even look as bright as it does right now. Like, <laughs> I'm hyped. So as I go along, I'm just separating my hair into little parts and beginning to do mini twists around my head. I'm starting off from the back and then I'm going to just fast forward to different parts of my head so you don't see the whole process.
And in the beginning, I started off wearing gloves, but towards the end, I kind of wanted to see how it applied with my fingers and how it felt. And so in the end, <laughs> I did make kind of a mess. Um, I could have been more neater, but as you can see, look at that blue. Look, oh my goodness. Also, if you aren't following me on all my social media platforms, including here, you can type in naturalista.beauty. As you see, it's the same name as my YouTube channel. So don't hesitate to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So, um, I'm here with an update. I've done three-fourths of my hair, and I got this little section left. I think I'm going to make it a side part, but, uh, I'm scared it's going to come out too blue, and I'm just hoping I don't look like a clown, y'all. I don't want to look like Krusty the Clown. Hey, kids! <laughs> So I am like trying to ombre it out so my hair could still be th um, darker at the top. And if you haven't noticed, I already have an ombre in my hair. It was lighter when I first got it, but now it's um it's still lighter. It's still like a balayage going on here. But while I'm putting the blue in, I'm just trying to make sure it fully covers this brown without um, turning purple or you know another color you know um so yeah i'm just giving you guys that update and i will see you towards the end so here i'm just showing you guys that i separated my hair into parts already um so i can just get this thing going and i will continue the moisturizing process before adding the hair gel and then starting to twist if you want to see a twist out tutorial i have a bunch of them on my channel using different brands so if you're interested i can leave a few links above and below So what I did with some twists, I started to twist and then once I got towards the end, that's when I started adding the color because I didn't want the blue to like be on my scalp. I still wanted like an ombre effect. So I did that to these last few twists and a few others around my head. Now I know y'all see those blue curls. Look at that. Okay. So I'm just showing you guys the back view as well. I pinned down a few of my twists so there's not too puffy. And I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi everybody, I am back with the final result. Yes, yes. So as you can see, my hair is good. I like it. I really like it. Um, I wore this all day, so my makeup is wearing off. I done snatched my eyelashes off, like, my lips, my lip gloss is, like, 
not non-existent. But before I get ready for bed, I wanted to show you guys how I look after wearing the hair gel. And I also wanted to share my final thoughts after my wear test. So, yeah, I keep playing with it. So, I like that the color took easily to my hair because as you can see in the beginning, my hair was a different tone. It was a balayage on the bottom with a kind of honey brown. So the bottom of my ends were lighter. And right here, you can hardly tell. Like it just looks like my hair is blue. And I, I like that you can naturally, like it looks natural. People were asking me all day like, oh, like your hair is nice. What did you use? And I was hyped to tell them Gemini, Gemini Naturals. Like, <laughs> um, but I also like like that I let it sit, it dried well, and it really does look natural. It's bright, it's not just a tint. Like, I really like that it was really showing. I just wanna show you guys. Bam. <laughs> so, one thing I do have to say is that because I, I don't know if this is why, but I did, get a little bit of blue on my hands throughout the day as you can see um that's just like if i'm fluffing my hair up because you know like when you want a style to get how you want it to look like you have to fluff it and i think because my hair was so moisturized and soft that um it made it easier to like come out on my fingers a little bit and that was just a little annoying um it wasn't too much it's not really on my shirt. It's probably at the tip where my hair starts. But even with that, it's not too much. Um, and my hair wasn't crunchy. My hair was soft as ever. Um, I think my biggest thing was that the little, the little bit of transfer onto my fingers when I'm fluffing my hair. I'm like not really feeling that part. Um, so I guess the next time that I do this, maybe I'll consider wearing my hair up or just fixing it into a style or just doing certain parts of my hair and making it a different color. Um, so I will do that maybe later on in the summer, but it was cute for a little weekend, you know. Ha ha, how you like me now? So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, or you're thinking about trying this gel or you're interested in knowing more, leave down below. What color would you try? They have every color. So what color would you want to try if you could like color your hair for a few days? It washes out and I am happy to have tried this. Like I have the other color pink. It's called Pinkberry. So I'll probably try that next. And let me know also down below if you guys want to see a video of me trying that as well. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching once again, and have a great night, a great week, a great everything. Oh, wait, wait. Oh,